Aloha everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to unbox another baby born doll and this time it's a baby born soft touch girl. Are you excited? Me too. But before we get her out of the box, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful box. This baby doll has a new soft body. She can drink. She can wet her nappy or diaper. She can cry. She can eat and use the potty. You can also bathe her. And she is even more movable than the other baby born dolls. And of course, she can close her eyes to go to sleep. And all of this fun without any batteries. Here's the cutest picture of a little girl playing with her baby born soft touch girl. And here we have a little overview of what she comes with. On the front, it tells us again all about the baby doll and what she can do. So much fun. Okay, let's get her out of the box. And our baby is out of the box. And look how cute she is. She is so adorable. Look, her arms not only can move up and down, but also out and in. That is so neat. And she is so much softer. And her outfit is so much cuter. Let me know if one of you have the new Baby Born Soft Touch doll. And how do you like her? We also have a Baby Born Soft Touch boy, and we really like him. And if you would like to see his unboxing, go ahead and check this video above. And now back to our baby girl. Let's go ahead and find out what did she come with and take a closer look. First of all, she came with this beautiful pacifier and a pacifier clip. Here it is a little closer. I really like how the clip works this time. And the pacifier itself is so cute. So much better looking than the other ones we used to have. Let's see how it looks on her. Oh, I really like how it looks on her. Don't you guys? Well, let's see what else she came with. This beautiful pink bowl and a pink little spoon. And this bowl is special because she can actually hold it. Kind of like that. Also, if you can see on her wrist, there's a little tiny bracelet or a little medallion. And she also comes with a special bracelet or a medallion for a mommy. And it says friends forever on it. She also came with her bottle that opens up, just like the other bottles do. You can put your milk or water in it, and you can feed her. We also have one packet of Baby Born doll food, one Baby Born diaper, and this is a new design. So cute. Baby Born birth certificate, and the Baby Born potty. Nice and pink with a little sticker in the front. But there's one more thing that she came with that I wanted to show you. And that is this cute Baby Born catalog. Let's take a look inside. Oh my, there's all kinds of accessories and dolls. Wow, there's clothes, strollers. There are the Baby Born dolls. And there are beautiful pictures inside with Baby Annabelle and Baby Born. Oh, look at those baby Annabelles. I guess these are all the products from Zaf Creations. Look how cute. There's the big sister. There's the little baby born doll. Oh, look how cute and adorable. Oh my. Sky would really enjoy looking through this. I wish we could have all these things available in the US for baby borns and baby Annabelles. These are just the most adorable dolls and accessories. Too cute. And I love how it comes in the little tiny magazine form. Well, friends, now that we unboxed her and looked at all of her accessories, let me show you how she works and tell you what her name will be. Okay, first let's reveal her name. This baby doll will be Baby Ella on our channel. And I'm planning on making a lot of fun little videos with her as a baby. And I think you all will really enjoy it. So this is baby Ella. 
Now, let me go ahead and fill up her bottle, feed her some water, and show you how her tear function works differently. Okay, let me go ahead and feed her. First of all, feeding her is much easier than any other baby doll. She does spill some water for some reason, but let me see if I can do it a little better. She does drink it though, as you can see by the bottle, even though she spills some of it. Okay, so she drank almost a full bottle. Now let me show you how she cries. As you know, with all the other baby born dolls, you had to squeeze her right arm like that and she would cry and that was kind of difficult so now baby born will cry when you press on her soft tummy or rather on her soft chest right here see isn't it so adorable and it's so easy even a little child can do it oh don't cry baby ella you will be okay let me wipe your tears also, I wanted to show you her little belly button right here. On the other baby borns, the belly button actually looked like a button, but now that button is inside of her skin, her rubbery little tummy. So you still can press it and she can still go potty. Let's see how that works. Okay, so I have my finger on her belly button. Let's see if she will go. Did you see that? Oh, and she's crying at the same time. <laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> also, if you notice, there are little tiny holes right here in her feet. And that is there for a reason. When your child takes her baby born doll in the bathtub with her, she will most likely fill up with water. And these little holes will help you to drain the water out. Isn't that so neat? Well, our baby Ella is all wet now. So, I think let's go ahead and change her into a different onesie. So let's go ahead and do that and put a new diaper on her as well. Well, look at our baby Ella. She's getting all sleepy. So I think I better put her in for a nap. Baby Ella is just a newborn. She was born only a few weeks ago. So she's still doing a lot of sleeping and a lot of eating. And I'm doing a lot of changing and swaddling. So I wanted to show you today how to swaddle your baby, how to feed her, and how to calm her down and put her to sleep. As you can see, baby Ella here is wide awake. She just woke up from her nap and I gave her her little passy so she doesn't fuss while she's awake. So while she's still happy, we want to do a little bit of playing with her. A little bit of activity time. So for that, we'll just unswaddle her a little bit. Just so she can have her arms out. She can stretch out a little bit. We can give her a little massage. She can kick. And we can spend a little time with her before she gets all hungry, fussy, and sleepy. I have some little toys that she might like, like this little ducky. And it goes up and down like that and makes noise. She seems to like it. I also have a little bee rattle. That seems like a nice toy too. Look, baby. You want to move your toys from side to side so your baby can learn to look around. Good job, baby Ella. She can follow the toys with her eyes. Look this way. There you go. I also have this little birdie and she has all kinds of things that are fun, like rattles and teethers and even a little mirror. It's a very cute little bird. 
Oh, I think Ella loves her. We can also put this little rattle bear on one of her feet and see if she'll like to kick this way. How cute! That's really fun. Okay, well, we don't want her to get too excited now because then she might have a hard time sleeping. So why don't we go ahead and give her a little pillow under her tummy and have a little tummy time. There we go. Look at her, she does a great job. And if we put some toys here, she can try to reach them. Good job. It's a good idea to give your baby some tummy time. A lot of babies don't like it though, but baby Ella is such a good sport. Well, while she is playing, I'm going to prepare her bottle. Come on, come with me. Here we go. Here's our formula. Here's our baby bottle. This is what the formula looks like inside. It has a little scoop, so we just scoop it up to make just enough milk. There we go. Add some water. And shake it. All done. Well, that was easy. Come on, let's go get baby Ella ready for feeding. Okay, baby Ella, it's time for your bottle. Let's get you turned around. Oh, look at her. She is hungry, I'm sure. Let's get all these toys out of the way. Do you want to have your passy? There you go. To feed your newborn baby, you can prop her up on a little pillow, or even better, you can hold her while you feed her. But for this video, we'll just use a pillow. Here you go, baby Ella. I think she's getting excited about this milk. Here you go. I think baby Ella is all done. She drank the whole bottle. She was definitely hungry. Well, now that we're done feeding her, it's a good idea to burp your baby. And to burp your baby, you can hold her upright and just gently pat her back. Like that. Good job. Now that your baby is all happy, she had her food, she had her playtime. It's a good time to change her clothes and her diaper. That's probably dirty by now. So let's go ahead and do that. How cute is our baby now? She's got clean clothes, clean diaper, she had a whole bottle of milk, lots of nice playtime and activity time. I think someone is getting sleepy. Well, it's time to get her ready for bed again. And you know what? All babies sleep much better if they are swaddled. They just feel so nice and cozy in their swaddle and it keeps them asleep longer. So let's go ahead and swaddle baby Ella, and I'll show you how. Okay, so first we have to lay out our swaddle, and this time I'm going to use this cute little muslin cloth. Let's see, I'll just fold the top a little bit, just like that. Then we're going to gently place our baby on the swaddle, and then we take one side, 
We'll put her arm close to her body. We take one side and turn it over to this side. Okay, we're gonna put it under her, make sure that it's nice and comfy. Then we're going to take her other arm, put it close to her body and fold the other end. Just like that. Look how nice and cozy she looks. Okay, we're going to tuck it in under her in a comfy way. But now we have all this part left here. So what we're going to do, we're gonna stretch it out like this and we're going to put it right over, right over our baby. And again, tuck in one side. Tuck in the other side. And whatever is left right here, we're gonna twist it, twist it, twist it, and tuck it right into this little pocket. And look at that. You've got yourself a little cute swaddled baby. And now she's going to be comfy and she'll sleep well. Now all you have to do is rock her to sleep. And you can do that by rocking her in your arms, of course. Or you can put her in a special rocking bed. And that's what we're going to do. There we go. Let's give her her passy. And let's turn on her rocker. While baby Ella is taking her nap, I'm going to prepare her little PlayStation for her. It's a really nice and portable play gym. Oh, and I think I hear baby Ella. I guess I was done just in time. Hi, baby Ella. like baby Ella woke up from her nap and got unswaddled. At least she did her arms. She is such a wiggle worm. Well, it's good timing because it was time for her to wake up and now we can go and play with her a little bit. And a little later, we're going to give her her very first bath. I sure hope she likes it. Right, baby Ella? Okay, let's go. Here we go, baby. Come play with your favorite toys. Here, I can unswaddle you. Do you still want to have your passy? Okay. There we go. Oh, so much better. You're so free now to kick and to move. Ella, you're really happy today and very active too. Maybe I should show her a little bit of some pictures in a colorful book. Look, I have a special, my first lullabies and nursery rhymes. Let's open it up. Oh wow, look at that. There's a giraffe and a monkey, two monkeys, a ladybug, and it says Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. That's a cute little song. Let's see what else. Now we have zebras and pandas and tiger and some fishes and crocodile here. Oh, Mary had a little lamb. Look at that purple hippo and a cute little bunny. And look how cute this tiger is. And those beautiful birdies. Oh, 
look, the animals are sleeping. They're listening to the song, Hush Little Baby, Don't Say a Word. And I think someone else is getting sleepy over here. It's baby Ella. She used up a lot of energy today. She had so much fun playing. But now it's time for her bath. So she will get even more relaxed and sleepy. And then we'll feed her, swaddle her, and off to bed she goes. Okay, baby Ella, I'm gonna go get your bath ready and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's our baby bathtub for baby Ella. Let's go ahead and put some warm water in it. And of course, what bath time goes without a little rubber ducky? And I have some teethers for her to enjoy. And a little washcloth with a little ducky to wash her up. Let's go get the baby. Okay, baby girl, your bath is ready now. And now it's time to get you ready. Here, you can have your passy. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Here. Do you like a little teether in your hand? Here you go. Let's get your washcloth. And let's wash you up. Let's wash your hands. And this hand. Your little cheeks. What do you think, guys? Do you think baby Ella is enjoying her bath today? I think so. She's a little bit sleepy, but I think she's just relaxing. You want to see a little ducky? Ducky says quack, quack. And this ducky can squirt some water. Oh, <laughs> Too cute. It's important to keep baby warm in her bath, so you want to always keep putting some water on her. Also very nice and relaxing for the baby and gets her ready for bed. I think baby Ella will be sleeping so well now. Well, I think it's time for us to come out. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get our baby out. Here we go, baby girl. Let's dry you off. Well, now that our baby is all clean, it's a good time to put a fresh diaper on her. Now let's go ahead and dress her in a sleeper, swaddle her, and give her her last bottle. And here's her sleeper. Let's go ahead and dress her up. Here's your passy baby. Don't fuss. Mommy will give you your bottle in just a minute. Let's swaddle you in a cozy blanket. Okay, okay, you can have your hand out.
Well, looks like we're all done. Very good. Well, here's your pass, sis, sweetie. Let's rock her to sleep. Well, friends, as you can see, baby Ella is totally out after that warm bath and a yummy bottle of milk. And I hope she'll have a good night. Until next time, bye-bye.